Hello folks, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Versal to deploy your normal projects. So that is something, let's get started. So uh, Versal is a service provider, it's way less complex than AWS or you know hosting providers like hosting or stuff like that. It's easy, you can just use one single command and it just deploys. Obviously, if you're going to use, you know, different frameworks like React or, you know, Next, obviously it's going to be different. But for this particular video, I'm just going to show you how you can deploy your project built with HTML, CSS and JavaScript using Versal for free. So without this name, let's get started. So um, I already have this particular demo project here. I can show it to right now. So it has a two HTML files and an assets folder which has all the styles and CSS. So uh, let's just open it up in our VS Code, the editor of my choice, and I'll show you how it looks right now and how we can use Versal to deploy it. All right, so these are the two files right now, and uh, now we can use one extension known as um, a public server, like public server. So it creates a local server for you, which you can test. You know, like you make changes to your HTML file, and then it automatically refreshes to the web. So we're going to do just that to see what we currently have right now. All right, now so I guess it started. It started on port five five double zero. So um, all right, let's see. So all right, so this is what it currently looks like. We have two HTML pages. One is dot index, obviously index, and another one is fast. So uh, let's see. Okay, so it says hi. Now all right, that's the thing. Now we want to deploy this particular on our version. So what we need to do right now? First of all, you need to go on versal.com and create your account. You can create a free account for this, as you can clearly see right now. I recommend you go with GitHub because you know once you do with GitHub, it automatically syncs and you know makes it easier for you to use the versal CLI. So I just recommend you to go and do that. Now, once you do that, we need to do npm i colon g versal. So slash g stands for um, uh, global. It installs versal directly, you know, uh, all across your system. Now, if you are facing errors like npm doesn't exist or node doesn't exist, you need to install node. So I'll just link a video down in the description. You can check it out how you can install node on your device. So once that's done, you can install this particular uh, versal library you can just uh, search it all right so i'll just link all those things down here now once you do that you obviously need to install a versal uh, login so we need we'll type versal login obviously all right so it's obviously going to open okay so as i said if you are using github you just use github eco because it's become really easy for you so it automatically authenticates and stuff like that so all right it, it is currently doing that it's logged in we can close this particular tab we get a success ratio here all right it's done now how do we really deploy it? What we really need to do is just type Versal and it's done. Seriously, you don't believe me? I'll just show it to you. So set up and deploy this puzzle, obviously, yes. Uh, scope, obviously, it's, it's the account name which currently have right now. It's Anshagarwal, obviously, let's do it. Deploy it on Anshagarwal. Do we want to link it to an existing project? No. What's the project name? Obviously, so uh, Versal demo. Let's state it Versal demo, all right? Obviously, the code is located in this particular folder. Let's enter. Alrighty, it's done. Uh, do you want to worry default settings? No, let's just do that. No, and it's done. Alright, so it will obviously provide us an URL. Okay, so we can just do that. So uh, it's doing currently deploying, uploading the files. I'll probably stop speaking right now. Alrighty, uh, it's done. It has already copied the URL, so we can just paste it right here. And now it's done. And now you can share this particular URL to your friends, family members, or if you have a personal site, just put it on social media. But yeah, it was really that easy. Well, that's more. Let me show it to you. What I really recommend before you do all that is you just create a, another folder known as uh, public. So I'll just do that public. And now place your assets folder inside your public folder. Let's click move. And obviously it automatically creates, you know, dot ignore file, dot git ignore, just ignore it as it states. For now, because I don't want to complicate this particular video, just copy these two files HTML we currently have right now and place them in the public folder. Let's just move them as well. Now I recommend to you is uh, you create another file outside the public folder known as versal.json. Now what the hell is this versal.json file? Alrighty, that's good you ask. Now I'll show it to you. So versal has another feature known as project configuration. What it really does is you can, you know, uh, strip down um, trailing slashes or remove the file extension. So what I really mean by here is, so all right, uh, it's obviously, you know, uh, here. So let me just show it to right. So uh, if I visit, um, let's say a fast.html. So as you can see, they, it is having this .html file. I don't want that. What I really want is slash fast. I don't want that .html. So what I can really do is, 
I'll just create two colons here. I'll type uh, uh, two colons, a clean URLs, and I'll just do this, and uh, I'll just set it to true. You can check it for here. So I just you know leave this particular uh, link here. So you can just go here and if I if we scroll down, you can see um, we have clean URLs here. So you see um, clean URLs set it to true. So just copy this particular thing and you can paste it right here. So I've obviously you know entered it, but just to be on the safer side, I'll just do that. Now you might be thinking I want to deploy it again because if I if, you know it's running live and it obviously didn't support that. So what we really need to do is we can run versal dev here. Now it will create, as you can clearly see, we had a new use live server to create our local server, but Versal, using the Versal dev, we can use the project configurations of Versal that is only available on the Versal's live server. We can, uh, you know, replicate those same on our personal server. So uh, let's just do that and uh, let us go to the port 3000 here. All right. So here it is. Now let's just enter slash fast already. It's here. Now you might have noticed another thing if I enter this particular trailing slash. So, so this is this particular trailing slash. Now, you know, some people have entered it by default. Now I want this particular trailing slash to be removed because you know, that's the way I like it. So there's an option for that as well. So you can just copy this particular thing and paste it right into your version.json file. Now don't forget to add a comma here because it won't work because JSON files are like by default right like that. So just refresh this particular page and see so if i enter of slash here it will you know change it now there are a lot of other things as well you can do so what you really need to do is let's say you know i don't want fast so by default what it does is all these html files so if i change if as you can see it's fast.html but i want to change it to you know uh, let's say i just rename it uh, to let's say hello obviously so uh, it won't be there right now because you know fast doesn't exist so it will be on hello obviously but i want it on fast but i want to find them to be hello so how can i really do that well there is a, a thing for it as well so what you need to do is in this particular rewrites what you can do is as you can see so rewrites you can just copy this particular thing all right and uh, obviously we'll do that i'll just show it to right now so i copied that particular thing i'll just put another comma here i'll just put that i'll put another um, thing here i just remove this particular colon here now slash source now slash source is as i said i want um, fast so it will be fast and the destination is hello.html so hello.html obviously so let's see so i'm by default it was supposed to be on hello but now since it doesn't exist it will you know work but because the file exists now it will also work on fast so as you can see so it works on fast it works on hello but I don't want it in fast, so you can you know just uh, do that. So like you can just create another thing here. So like I just copy this um, control D. It's a shortcut which I'm currently using right now. So uh, I just want it on hello, and uh, it doesn't exist. Obviously, it's going to you know redirect. So let's see how it goes. So um, hello, how does hello go? Okay, so it's you know using this particular thing. So obviously you can make rewrites here, but now everything's done. You can you know change the trailing slash you can clean uh, you keep clean URLs and all this stuff but i want to change this domain address how can i really do that here oh, before we do that i'll just let me deploy this particular um, thing here just because we have made a lot of changes here so let me just do that so let me just type personal again it will automatically deploy those uh, changes here automatically till the time it does that let me show you the dashboard we currently have right now so this is the you know project we deployed right now now, if you want to change its domain settings, what you can really do is go to settings and in your particular domains, you can change it. So, um, uh, obviously we cannot add here. Uh, so let's type a uh, versal, uh, multiverse, uh, demo, and let's add this. Okay. So it uh, really needs that. So uh, versal slash app should that work? Okay. So it added automatically. Now, what you can really do is uh, I can redirect it as well. So, Versal, okay, so it's done that temporarily. No, let's move it to uh, move permanently. Okay, so I just show you it again. Okay? So, if I visit this particular site, it is going to redirect me to Versal Multiverse Demo. How cool is that? Now, let me visit Fast as well. So, okay, so Fast is not existent. Uh, let's try uh, Hello. Okay, so it's not found. Maybe, you know, uh, there's some uh, problems related to deployment because it takes some time. So uh, we can check here deployments. 
and this is the latest deployment if we want to you know shift it to production uh, so assign domains okay so it's the virtual demo big it's not has it has not assigned you know uh, the, to the main deployment so what we can really do is promote to production promote to production okay uh, so the following domains uh, only deployments you deployments created by a git can be promoted to production okay so uh, uh, what we can really do is you can just type virtual uh, help to check out the uh, production commands you currently have right now so um let's say uh, like uh, virtual we have virtual dev now we want uh, perform some deployment um virtual dev no we don't want that all right uh, so yeah i guess that's done we have de deployed and if you want to deploy it to you know latest productions i suggest you use it but that's it i guess it's already a long video i showed you a lot of things i'll just you know leave this particular virtual cli configuration file which is can be modified using virtual.json so as i said virtual is really powerful it's free and i guess you should definitely use it so i guess that is for this particular video folks hope you like it don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and thanks for watching